Hey guys, um, so I'm recording with my computer right now, well not the camera, but it is that, but I don't want to like use my phone because it's fat and I'm an asshole and I'm really on it, so yeah, and my brother took his camera to his like business trip thing for school, so I'm just sitting here using my laptop, so yeah. Um, but today I'm going to teach you how to get, like, a crimped hair look thing. My hair is kind of wavy right now because my hair, I put braids in my hair every night because it get, makes it get a lot less tangled. And also it's, like, super wavy, so my hair doesn't look as bad. Um, and then I'm also going to teach you how to, like, have your hair more, like, volumized if you have, like, like me, a side hair thing, hairline. I am horrible at hair, so you guys probably shouldn't even be watching this video, but I'm making it, so okay, my bad. Um, let's get on with the video. So starting off, you're going to have to actually part your hair in the center, and yeah, I look really bad with the middle part, so just, oh my gosh, what is going on with my phone? Sorry, I'm in a group chat and they're like fussing over literally what my friend is wearing and I'm like, what are you guys doing? Okay, hold on, let me just turn this off. Okay, I just turn off the GoPro thing. Okay, so moving on. So you're going to want to put your hair down the middle. And then you're going to want to make sure when you part it down the middle, then you part like the back down the middle as well. I don't know if you guys just saw that. I am going to get a hairbrush real quick, tell you what you need. You need a hairbrush, um, some water in a spray bottle, um, and some like hairspray. I wouldn't prefer extremely strong hairspray. But yeah, and then you also need some like elastic hair tie thingy majiggies. You could also use these, but they might be a little too bulky. So after you parted your hair down the middle, just go ahead and brush your hair. Okay, so after you brushed your hair and all that, then you're going to want to, you will also need these hair ties to like section off your hair or you can use like a clip or something, but I ain't got no clips. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to section your hair each side to three sections and this works for like long hair or short hair, but once you section it into three sections, well actually yeah, after three sections, you're going to want to take two of them that you're not going to, like, use and just go ahead and tie it off. You just want to make sure that you don't, like, tie this and tangle it in with this. So next, what you are going to do is you're going to want to break this, but do the same to this side. Go ahead and section it off into three sections. And the reason why you want to section it into three sections is so that each section is going to be even, even though you're tying off two of the sections. So once you got that done, then you can put these in the back. So, yeah. Next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your spray bottle. I think my hair ties are slipping off, so... So what you're going to want to do is you're going to um, just take your like spray bottle with water in it, not hairspray, and you're just going to want to dampen your hair. So 
once you got that done, you're just going to want to braid it. So split that into three more sections. And then you're going to want to braid it and try to make these sections as even as possible. And you're going to want to braid it very tightly so that it's going to turn out nicely clipped. As far as I know, yeah. So I don't know if you guys can see, but we're braiding it to like the very end. And if you guys can't wait, okay, so this is like overnight process thing so if you guys are actually like in a rush or something then instead of waiting overnight you can iron it but don't iron it like too bad I guess um, and then if you are ironing it then make sure you add the hairspray after you iron iron it next you just want to take an elastic and tie it off And see what I mean? If you had like a uh, one of those black hair ties, then would it would be too bulky for this. So, so just go ahead and do that to the rest of your hair. So like do it to this section as well. And same thing, dampen your hair and then braid it. I think I need to change the water for this. So I'll be back in a sec. Don't apply too much because your hair will all be sticky and gross. Yeah, make sure you get away. Anywho, that's going to be it for if you have like a laptop like I do. And then you're going to go to bed like this and then wait till tomorrow. So, yeah, got to be patient with these weights. And once again, if you're like in a rush and it's the same day, then you can iron it. And after you iron it, you hairspray it and then you take it out. So, 
Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Make sure you wash your hands now. So it's morning now, and um, I'm using earbuds because my heater is turned on, and my heater is extremely loud. So this is what I look like. Um, my hair is still in braids, and I'm here to take them out. Um, but maybe some of the hairspray rubbed off when I was sleeping, but I think we don't need to add any more, so just, like, don't do anything about it. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get these things out. All I have right now is just my hair. I don't have a hairbrush or anything, because I don't think you would want to brush your hair after you do this, because... Would, your hair would probably be extremely poofy. So don't like just un just undo it with your fingers. Okay, so I took out all my braids. Now you can leave it like this if you want to, if you like the middle part. I personally don't like it. Um, if you like look good in the middle part, then you can just keep it like that. Um, if you don't look good in the middle part like me, then here is the next step. So go ahead and get your whichever side part you want. I do this side. So, you just want to part that off, and then just move it over there. And I don't know if you guys can see, but because we had our hair in a center part for overnight, then when you flip it over, then there's a lot of volume. I don't know if you guys can see this, but like up here, there's a lot. And stuff so you can just keep on going back and flipping more hair to the other side and it should end up looking something like this so um your hair is gonna look really big um don't brush it through like I said because your hair is gonna be even bigger and it's gonna look like you're crazy so if you guys have like a thin headband, which I don't. Sorry, my mom walked in. Um, so if you guys have like a thin hairband, or not a hairband, a uh, headband, which I don't, then you can put it across and it looks really good like that with crimped hair. Um, if you guys don't, then I'm gonna teach you like how to do like a hair headband thing. So there it is, here's the headband. Um, I hope you guys like it, there are definitely other ways to do this I bet. Um, but yeah, and then you could also add like little braids or something to give it some more, you know, like style, I don't know. 
Um, so like you can add tiny pieces of braids around your hair and then you look like you go back to the 80s and stuff like that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry this video is like very long and all that stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope it helped, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!